I mean, ETCS is a, a great project. It's bringing uh, digital signal into the East Coast. It's going to bring us better performers. It's going to be a safer um, railway environment. And uh, it's going to be more environmentally friendly because we can actually run trains in a, a more environmentally friendly way managing our speeds, managing our emissions, etc. So it's uh, it's going to be it's going to be really important for us. The Azuma train uh, is synonymous with the East Coast Mainline now. It's what passengers see and, and, and see and feel. And of course, it's even named after the eastern route that it that it runs on. Uh, it's, it's really important for the programme. Um, it's the largest in-city passenger fleet that we have uh, within ECDP. But it's also really important nationally as a national enabler for the digital mission, um, because not just this fleet, but other 800 class fleets that are relying on this one to be to be approved into service before they can uh, then do similar upgrades. So a really, really important national enabler as well as an important milestone for East Coast Digital Programme. The trains are already um, ETCS, called it ETCS ready. Um, we're doing some changes now to the ETCS and TMS software and some hardware changes as well to bring up to the latest standards and regulatory requirements and, and customer needs as well. The Zuma being, a, being an iconic fleet, um, first AT300 fleet that will, that will be ETCS in full operation. So it's, it's quite a significant achievement for, for all involved in it. It's really exciting for Agility to be at the forefront of such a project with one of the largest fleets being fitted with this technology. Um, currently the testing is obviously a significant milestone that we're, we're delighted to be involved in. Next summer is an incredibly exciting milestone for, for ECDP. We'll start our migration on the East Coast mainland itself and we'll gradually from there build up and ramp up activity over the course of about two years before we then look to take the signals away for the first time on the East Coast mainland. This is a, this is quite a, a mammoth change for the, the rail industry and you know what we're doing bringing the information into the cab for the drivers it's uh, it's really important for us so so yeah I'm, uh, I'm quite excited about it. It's a collaboration effort between um, Hitachi, LNER, Network Rail, Agility Trains and, and other operators and also within Hitachi, um, you know, internationally we've got our teams in Japan who are responsible for developing the, uh, the software needed and the hardware needed to make this work. The thing to remember is that passengers will see the benefit of this through trains like the Azuma unit. So incredibly exciting and incredibly, uh, incredibly important milestone for the programme. You can see the collaboration that we have on site with Hitachi, Network Rail, LNER, Agility, making it work. We just need everybody to, to, to jump on board and, uh, and let's make this happen.